Welcome all. In this session, we are going to see some of the tips and tricks that can be used in SOLIDWORKS, mainly in assembly drawing. I here introduce a gearbox assembly with the parts like housing, covered plug at both the sides, covered plate at the top, offset shaft, warm gear shaft, and a warm gear assembled inside. Let's make a drawing file for this assembly. It asked for to open an existing file or new one. I am going with the new one. We can select the sheet size and from the view palette I am dragging the front view projecting its top view side view and also the bottom view I want to place an isometric view too I want my isometric view to be shaded. The next thing I want to do is, I want some of the internal lines to be visible for a particular part and also for a particular view, not for the all. So I am selecting this particular view, right click, properties, a dialog box open. By default, it will be in view properties option and also I can see some of the options like I show components, bodies and edges. By selecting edges, I can select a particular part that the hidden lines made to be visible. So I am selecting some of the parts as you see now and apply OK. Now uh, we can see the hidden lines visible for that particular part. The next thing we are going to see about that we can make a section view from the detail view. So for an example, I am making a detail view for this particular shaft and placing its view right below to it. Then by selecting that particular detail view, going for the option section view, selecting a particular position I can project its section view as you see now. We can also add dimensions through model items option in SOLIDWORKS. We can add dimensions for the whole model or a particular feature we select by selecting the required option in model items. In this case, I am selecting this particular view for the dimensions to be added. The next thing we are going to see about this 3D drawing view option present in the drawing file of SOLIDWORKS. Making use of this option, we can rotate the particular view for our convenient as you see in screen now. As like in part modeling, we can rotate in drawing file the particular component or a particular view for the required position you needed. The keyboard shortcuts such as Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3 till Ctrl 7 are enabled in this. Selecting a particular view, you can give OK. The final thing we gonna see is creating and modifying nodes. This is a very simple trick but unnoticed by many of us. For an example, I am creating a node as you see. In this block, all the letters were in lowercase. I want to change all to be uppercase. SOLIDWORKS has a way to make it simple. We have an option under the text format, all uppercase. By checking it on, we can note the change in the text. Finally, save the document. 